Hi, and welcome to the Art Market Podcasts. I'm here with Geraldine McCullough. Hello, Geraldine. Hi, Fiona. And for our listeners, can you let us know a little bit about what your company is and what you do? My company is made at Greenview, and I produce purses, bags, cushions. I particularly like to do patchwork, um, and a lot of my work is in a patchwork style. I wouldn't say it was um, particularly authentic of the traditional patchwork technique, but it is a patchwork style. Um, I love combining different fabrics and prints together, mixing them up, mixing my old and new fabrics together to create different functional textile accessories. So when did it all start? I rekindled my passion for sewing um, and had started making textile accessories with my the fabric collection that I've had for a while and, and I've started sourcing new fabrics. When did you first pick up a, a needle? A needle? Yeah, um, when did you first start sewing? Uh, when I was about 11 or 12, um, I have three older sisters and I had to adapt all the hand-me-downs, you know, the gap between me and my elder sister's 12 years so I had all her flares and I wanted drain pipes so I had to adapt everything and that's when I started sewing. So it was it started as a as a love for fashion then didn't it? Yeah definitely um, and that's what I went into I went into garment construction and manufacturing um, sewing has always been a passion and that has led to fashion. What do you specialise in? Mainly textile accessories. Um, I love bags. I love making bags. I love making um, bags with metal clasp frames in particular. And also I'm introducing gradually a few home accessories. So I've got a new collection of patchwork style cushions, which are quilted as well. uh, And I'm gradually adding to that collection. So describe your typical day. What would it be? My typical day does revolve around my two children. I drop Cecilia, my daughter, off at school and then I'm straight into my work room sewing. Um, I did have a different routine. I used to check my emails and um, blog, things like that. But now I've realised that's far too distracting <laughs> and I'll end up wasting a few hours Um looking at all sorts of things so now it's straight into sewing and um, I tend to stay in the sewing room all morning and then I move into um, my cutting room where I cut lots of materials up to sew for the next day so sewing in the morning and cutting in the afternoon. It seems like you've got a really good routine going on actually yes yeah it works it's working for me I'm getting there it's definitely growing this business so that's good so have you got a lot of stockists I've got a couple of stockists um who are doing really well some lovely um shops the art parade in Saltaire the Bowery in um, Headingley in Leeds and um, and made in the craft and design centre in Manchester Mm, that's a good one you've got some good stockists and yes, also, do, do you sell online as well? Yes, I do. I have an Etsy shop and a folksy shop and Big Cartel. I've just opened a shop on Big Cartel. Can you tell us one of the addresses where we can buy your work? You can buy my work at the um, shops that I've just mentioned or um, you can buy my work at www.madeatgreenview.etsy.com. What's your favourite piece in your collection? I think my favourite piece um, are my patchwork style cushion covers that I've recently started um, to include in my collection. Uh, I love the quilting because it brings a completely different texture to the cushion and yeah they're my favourite. So what advice would you give somebody else starting their creative business? I would say definitely just stay true to what you like what you believe and what you set out to do Um, I did deviate slightly at the beginning and it didn't work because I wasn't so happy with what I was doing where did you deviate Um, to um, I was trying to make things a little bit more 
simpler I think and it didn't work I wasn't happy with what I was doing what I was producing and I realized that I had to actually be true to myself and make what I like Um, and it's gone back to you know sales are really good again so I would say just be true to yourself and make what you like and also it sounds as well like you've invested in your own creative ability so you've kind of pushed yourself that little bit further which has produced a more quality piece of work yes definitely um it's improving all the time yeah changing so what inspires you I'm inspired particularly by my passion really of African and Indian textiles and that is a definite inspiration to me the use of colour pattern and texture in the prints and my combination of prints and colour and pattern um, often reflects that. Have you been to Africa? No I haven't. Would you love would you love to go? I would love to go and it's particularly India and everybody says to me oh Geraldine you'd love India and I say yes I know <laughs> oh you should go because I think if you know that would that would just bring some yeah definitely it would bring all that color back with you not that you haven't got it in your collection already because you do but it would just add that you know added inspiration wouldn't it definitely definitely yeah oh, I think you could put that on expenses yes yes <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so what what do you do on your day off I love walking um particularly you know around here around it's just so beautiful here and in Derbyshire and that's mainly what we do actually on our days off to either take a picnic or a barbecue and go for a good walk or a good cycle and, and or you know maybe go over to Salt's Mill or go to some galleries that's mainly what we do do you draw inspiration from your walks as well then oh definitely from nature yeah. and things so, like yeah definitely and it's a good it's really good time to think about things and um, how things are going to progress and go forward what do you love most about what you do um i i'm always thrilled that a customer loves what i do and purchases my work and really likes my products and the way i put things together you know it's always a thrill that's a nice feeling isn't it when somebody buys your work it is it's lovely you know and I don't think that ever goes away so have you any exciting news or any exhibitions I know you do um, workshops so is anything coming forward that we can find Uh, out about yes I've been running workshops um, over the past six months or so um, and they've been really enjoyable I've enjoyed all of those um, and there's going to be more coming up I'm going to be running another series of courses can you uh, tell us a little bit about those what what are those series of courses? well I do a variety of courses and um, mainly you know I just I really enjoy passing on my sewing skills um, to other people who want to learn so there are courses from you know basic sewing skills learning to use the sewing machine through to doing some patchwork through to uh, making a skirt so going from you know home accessories to dressmaking and I thoroughly enjoy passing on skills to people who want to learn and then I'll start them up again in September so it's learn to love your sewing machine but what I can do um well what I'm you know do is organize the parties as well so if you and a few friends wanted to book so that you can all come together yeah and to learn to make something so I'll do like hem parties or you know a birthday party kind of thing and there's you know there's cakes and tea so would you uh, would make you... it a really enjoyable day so that's something else that I do so you know say a group of four or five if you wanted to get together to spend the day together learning to sew then um, that's what I do as well for, for the listeners obviously I'm going to incorporate this all into the podcast um for the listeners where can they find out about these amazing workshops for September oh, right if uh, for the workshops look at www.makeatgreenview.blogspot.com brilliant and that's and we can also book you for parties there too uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, look on uh, my blog as well. 
right my made at greenview so i have made at greenview and my workshops are make at greenview what day are you doing the art markets uh, this year i'm doing the art market on the 12th of june i love doing home for thought market because it's um, a great chance to have um, a good dialogue with the customers they get to see my collection, uh, my products, and I often am able to do commissions for the customers um, if they choose to have a cushion but in, in different colours. So it's a great opportunity for people to come along and see everything that I do and then they can commission me to do something specific for them. Thank you so much for the interview and I look forward to seeing you at the art markets. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fiona. Thank you. If you'd like to know more about the art markets, go to www.artmarkets.co.uk.